Hey, Raphael, Raphael, I wish I could do the Israeli art, but it's really hard because I'm American, even though I've been studying the language for years. So, Raphael, <laughs> Abigail, Andrea, and Hadar, Hadar, Mashlomcha. So, I thought, I haven't done this in a long time. One of my very first videos that I made was reading a book for you. So, today I thought I would read a book for Raphael and for Abigail because your family brings me such joy. Uh, I can't wait to watch your vlogs. I remember when there was 2,000 people or something, not even 2,000 people, and now you're up over 75,000. So who am I? I'm nobody, but I've been with you all these years. And if I ever make it back to that country, I will. Hopefully get to say hi. You never know. You never know what life will bring. So I want to read a story that one of my favorites that I remember came out before I was born. I'll double check on that. Double check. Oh yeah, I wasn't even born. <laughs> but I remember having it as a child. And it is Mr. Rabbit and Lovely Present by Charlotte Zalatow. And the picture's by... Maurice Sendak. So, Andrew, you probably are familiar with Maurice Sendak, the illustrator and the writer. So, this is the book. And I have to switch it around so you can see the pictures. Because what I love about this book, what makes it so special, is are the illustrations. Because Maurice Sendak, you know, was a terrific, was, he's deceased now, illustrator. And these, these pictures for me, maybe they'll be the same for you, but they just really, they, your imagination just comes up. So I hope you enjoy it. Check in with the book. Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl, I want help. Help, little girl? I'll give you help if I can, said Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl, it's about my mother. Your mother, said Mr. Rabbit. It's her birthday, said the little girl. Happy birthday to her then, said Mr. Rabbit. What are you giving her? Here we gotta flip the page. Ugh. That's just it, said the little girl. That's where I want help. I have nothing to give her. Nothing to give your mother on her birthday, said Mr. Rabbit. Little girl, you really do want help. I would like to give her something that she likes, said the little girl. Something that she likes is a good present, said Mr. Rabbit. Always had to turn the page. There we go. Look at these lush pictures. But what, said the little girl. Yes, what, said the Mr. Rabbit. She likes red, said the little girl. Red, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her red. Something red, maybe? said the little girl. Oh, something red, said Mr. Rabbit. What is red? said the little girl. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there's red underwear. No, said the little girl. I can't give her that. Why not? Mm. There are red roofs, said Mr. Rabbit. No, we have a roof, said the little girl. I don't want to give her that. There are red birds, said Mr. Rabbit. Red cardinals. No, said the little girl. She likes birds and trees. Don't mind my fingers. There are red fire engines, said Mr. Rabbit. No, said the little girl. She doesn't like fire engines. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are apples. Good, said the little girl. That's good. She likes apples. But I need something else. What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, she likes yellow, said the little girl. Yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. We can't give her yellow. Something yellow, maybe, said the little girl. 
Oh, something yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. What is yellow? said the little girl. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are yellow taxi cabs. I'm sure she doesn't want a taxi cab, said the little girl. The sun is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. But I can't give her the sun, said the little girl, though I would if I could. A canary bird is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes birds in trees, the little girl said. That's right, you told me, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, butter is yellow. Does she like butter? We have butter, said the little girl. Bananas are yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. Oh, good, that's good, said the little girl. She likes bananas. I need something else, though. What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes green, said the little girl. Green, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her green. Something green, maybe, said the little girl. Emeralds, said the rabbit. Emeralds make a lovely gift. I can't afford an emerald, said the little girl. Parrots are green, said Mr. Rabbit, but she likes birds and trees. No, said the little girl, parrots won't do. Peas and spinach, said Mr. Rabbit. Peas are green, spinach is green. No, said the little girl, we have those for dinner all the time. Caterpillars, said Mr. Rabbit, some of them are very green. She doesn't care for caterpillars, the little girl said. How about pears, said Mr. Rabbit. Bartlett pears? The very thing, said the little girl. That's the very thing. Now I have apples, bananas, and pears. But I need something else. Turn, turn. There we go. What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes blue, the little girl said. Blue. You can't give her blue, said Mr. Rabbit. Something blue, maybe, said the little girl. Lakes are blue, said the rabbit. But I can't give her a lake, you know, said the little girl. Stars are blue. I can't give her stars, the little girl said. But I would if I could. Sapphires make a lovely gift, said Mr. Rabbit. But I can't afford sapphires either, said the little girl. Bluebirds are blue, but she likes birds and trees, said Mr. Rabbit. Right, said the little girl. How about blue grapes, said Mr. Rabbit. Yes, said the little girl. That is a very it is good, very good. She likes grapes. Now I have apples and pears and bananas and grapes. That makes a good gift, said Mr. Rabbit. All you need now is a basket. I have a basket, said the little girl. She took her banana, took her baskets and filled it with green pears, the yellow bananas, the red apples, and the blue grapes. It made a lovely present. Thank you for all your help, Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl. Not at all, said Mr. Rabbit. Very glad to help. Goodbye for now, said the little girl. Goodbye, said Mr. Rabbit, and happy birthday, and a happy basket of fruit to your mother. He's going off. I like it because it's darker. It sounds like a dog is going to bark. I'm sorry. And that is the end. I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, this book is Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present. And it is a Caldecott Honor book. So, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.